I forgot Greenlee's birthday more often than I remembered it because I was always in some other zip code or time zone for the most important events of her life. But I did get to share her bridal shower and see her happy and, and in love and settled. I regret the time that I didn't spend with her. And I will always be grateful for being there for her happy day. It's a well-known fact that Greenlee and I didn't see eye to eye on many things. On anything. Greenlee gave me a chance at fusion, and that meant so much to me. The girl was a remote hogger. She hogged a remote. She did. She also had no appreciation for fine dog art. Pictures with dogs in it. But Greenlee was passionate about life and about the people she loved. She could be a hard ass, <laughs> but she was fair. Greenlee was the person you wanted to be stranded on a desert island with. She was also really good at playing Three's Company. It's a long story. Hate at first sight. That was Greenlee and me. We fought over jobs, men, the color of the sky and then we made lipstick together we became business partners and best friends oh we still fought we we still hurt each other but our bond was deeper and stronger than any angry words no matter how deep they cut I always assumed that what we had would always be there. No matter how angry we had been, how far apart we were, how much time we'd spent away from each other. And then one day I realized there are no guarantees. No matter how hard you love or how close you are, it can all be taken away in an instant. I still can't accept that Greenlee's gone. I still hit her speed dial number, and I wait to hear her laugh. I, um, I still expect to see her walk through the door. Dear Ryan, I'm sorry for causing you and our daughter so much pain. I was so desperate to keep you, to make you love me. And all I did was tear apart our family. But I'm better now. I finally understand that it's time for me to move on to build a new life with someone else. Annie, it's time for group. first time I remember the first second actually that I uh, that I laid eyes on Greenlee um, she, she was uh, she was working as an intern at WRCW and she came over to me and she introduced herself and she shook my hand and uh, she described herself as an unusual woman and um, from that point on 
Greenlee was, was part of my life, and my life would never be usual again. We, uh... We fell in love. First, we got married, but then we fell in love. And she vowed to me that she would give me a surprise today. A surprise every single day, and she never let me... She never let me down. Um... Never been big on the whole fate concept. I wasn't. But I honestly believe that, uh... I believe that Greenlee and I, were, we were meant to be together, and we were finally... We were so close to getting what we fought so hard to have, and... Well, she was, um... She was taken away. From all of us. <laughs> I don't know how to say goodbye. I kind of feel like I, uh... Like I just kind of said hello again, you know? And now she's gone, and... don't have enough memories of her and I would give anything I would give anything just to just to get a sign that she's all right you know? kind of had a breakthrough of my own. You know, everyone there was just sharing their memories of, of Greenlee. And I remember loving her. But I realized that I don't love her anymore. And I didn't want to share my memories or mourn the past. All I wanted to do was, was come back here and see you. It's been a rather long day, don't you? Maybe you need to get a little rest, go to bed. The whole doctor thing makes you really bossy. <laughs> I think Jake is right. Maybe Chandler needs a nap. Are you okay? It's all right, relax. It's just an atmospheric electrical condition. It's not Greenlee trying to reach us from beyond the grave. Someone's pulling on me. Someone's cold and alone. It's greatly. Come on. You don't actually believe in that voodoo nonsense now, do you? She, she's in trouble. She's trapped. She's got no way out. Really? How terrible. What changed her mind? Since the accident, I've, um... I guess I've been waiting for somebody to wake me up. To kickstart my life again. And today I realized that that's not gonna happen. Nobody... Nobody's gonna do that, that I'm alone. Sorry. Look, I don't want an apology. If there's anything I can do, you Look, I don't want you. anything from you, okay? Not your guilt, not your pity, not your help. Just please get out. Ms. Williams, it's Dr. Santa Maria. I'm going to remove the bandages, check on your progress. Am I going to be okay? Well, you suffered a trauma. Recovery always takes some time. Now, your eyes may be sensitive to the light, problems with focus and depth of perception. Okay. 
Miss Williams? Tell me what you see. Nothing. I see nothing. 